In our next training video, we shall cover a bit on aggression. Shadow is a direct descendant of wild dogs. When she was 3 months old, she was taken away from the wild and domesticated as a family dog. However, she inherited all the essential qualities which is required for a wild animal to survive, typically to fight and defend. To date, she has a long list of bite history towards both humans and dogs. Food aggression is often the main cause of the unwanted behaviour. Food aggression is also known as resource guarding. If your dog demonstrates aggression, please seek professional advice. Do not try to fix aggression yourself and do not attempt what I will be showing you unless you really know what you are doing. It has taken me a long time and many bites before I arrived here. The opportunity cost is high. This explains why many trainers avoid seeing clients who want to fix aggression issues. So if your trainer is avoiding you, do not insist, as this is not his cup of tea. Young children, do not watch this without parental guidance. <laughs> Let's watch this again in slow motion. When I push her over the limit, it is her natural reflexes to just turn and bite. And almost immediately, she was remorseful. My cameraman was shocked and we didn't have a good footage. Let us do this again. As there was no correction, I'm sure the next fight will be stronger. <laughs> Oh no, indeed much stronger. She executed her full bite pressure, held on and pulled with her full body weight. She got me. Well, this is the bread and butter when it comes to treating aggression. I could feel her canine teeth piercing through my protection gloves and tearing the leather material apart. Fortunately, the damage is minimal and my injury is only superficial. I cannot imagine if I was without my protection gears. Nevertheless, I confess I could have underestimated her bite force by 10%. That said, as I have chosen not to overprotect myself, I wanted to feel the dog and I wanted the dog to feel me. As you can see, there was no margin for error. You pay as you learn. Treating dog aggression is not something you do with your fingers crossed. You only do it with knowledge and experience. We must not be cocky. Accidents happen when trainers are overconfident and complacent. Shadow reacted because she was pushed over the limit. In all fairness, Shadow must not be punished in this case. We shall take a positive and holistic approach and I hope it works for her. Before I use the e-collar on the dog, I use it on myself. It wouldn't be very fair for you to use it on the dog if you don't even know how it feels like on yourself. This is level 25. This level 25. Took it up on myself up to level 40. I don't This is a mini educator. It has an intensity from 0 to 100. Level 5 is extremely low. I absolutely cannot feel anything of myself at this level. Surprisingly, she is giving me a response at even level 4. I nick the dog with the e-collar at this level yes. just as a form of friendly communication. This is totally non-aversive. Right. I am reinforcing the leave it exercise. Good. Yes. I'm showing her how she can give and take with me. The beef bone is Good. her favorite delicacy. Leave it. To snatch that leave bone it. away from her right. with bare hands, you must be out of your mind. Inevitably, my heart is beating faster than normal. 
I'm reading every part of the dog's ritual to make sure I do not get into trouble. I've earned the trust in her. She has learned that this hen is friendly and would serve side dish as she takes her main course. The common problem with e-collar is people become so dependent on it and they don't know how to move on from there. If your dog cannot function without e-collar, your mission is not accomplished. As you can see, she submits to me. She allows me to decide which bone she may take and leave it when I'm taking it away. I continue to use an assertive voice to dominate the situation. I did not use any force or pressure. But now, my status in the pet hierarchy is obvious. E-collar is a fabulous tool. It is indeed the greatest invention in the dog training evolution. However, it is also the biggest abuse by people who do not use it correctly. Using e-collar to treat aggression is something we hardly heard of. Conversely, when training German Shepherd, e-collar is often used to stimulate aggression. As we know, German Shepherd can still function even when in pain and they can withstand pain better than wolf. Obviously, we have successfully desensitized and conditioned the dog. She is now less sensitive and more comfortable with my hand being in close proximity even when she's having her favorite food. We have been very successful so far. Her aggression is indeed moderated. But it would be naive and foolish to assume that the aggression is completely fixed and she will not bite anymore. Yes. Patience and extended conditioning will be essential in order for her aggression to fade away with time. 